got him. Ooh, he's running. <laughs> that was so cool. Unbelievable. <laughs> that was so awesome. This is unreal. Like, this is crazy. Is he in? Yeah, he's in. <laughs> nice, dude. That was awesome. <laughs> What a beautiful fish. Look at that, it's a good sized yeah. fish too. It's not yeah, bad. Yeah. All right, what's the next step? Wow, guys, that was that was pretty epic. Little did I know that I was gonna get off a plane from the States and land into London to uh, hop on a little pond like this with Carl and Alex and catch my first ever carp in the mouth. I know that sounds ridiculous. I've been fishing since I was four years old, but I've never done this. And doing it in this manner too is just makes it like a hundred times more special. So you're good to go. Okay, yeah, show me your, show me your fish. Check that out. This is so cool. First ever carp hooked in the mouth. Here in the UK, these are like the bass. There are a lot of anglers out here that target these fish and to catch one on a fly is pretty epic. Feels good to get back in the swing of things and catch my first ever carp and my first ever mirror. The reason why they're called mirrors is because of these kind of oddball scales, right? Just like, you know, really oddball reflective scales. I know a lot of people think these are kind of an unpleasant fish to catch in the States, but Look at that. And they're fun. They just pull. They're like bulldogs. And that's a, that's a, that's a small one. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> like I, I'm, I'm geeking over a fish that I can fit in my hand. It's just a great way to start this trip off. Mwah. <laughs> that's cool. I think he's good. Gone. It was, it was, it was, it's, is it recording right now? Yeah. Our main goal today is just, or at least my main goal today is just catch as many carp on a fly as I possibly can. That was quick, like scary quick. Uh, they're on the prowl right now, they're feeding, sun is setting, and according to these two guys, right now is the time to catch them. Sorry, I didn't mean to walk away. <laughs> Did it get away? Did he take it? Did he take it? Oh! What? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I least expected. That was nuts. That was like literally my throwaway cast. Oh my god. What is this guy's deal? Is that a golden one, really? Yeah. There's a couple in there. Wow. Where did that come from? Like a sudden burst of energy. Where did that do we had him right at the bank? He thinks, he's, he thinks he's a little GT, a little freshwater pond GT. BG. This is our version of Cosmo. Yeah. <laughs> the carp's a bad fish, man. <laughs> oh, is he out? No, he's just caught. Fly just popped out. Yeah, that's much nicer yeah, look at, than your In the midsection. <laughs> that's a gorgeous fish. Should I oyster up? Dude. Just like that. Yeah, I know that. I know he's being a a, a wiener, a lively so and so. But normally, if you can, chill. Well, not quite a GT, but still good fun. <laughs> I don't know. My arm is getting tired. Though, I'm not gonna lie. A little five weight. Second carp of the day, and it's another mirror, a much prettier mirror. That is bad, hey, bad, bad. And the then look fly. at that tail too. I mean, you can tell where these fish get their force and their just sheer power. That tail is huge. I mean, it really, really is big. Major, 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 majorly underrated. I was under the impression that these fish were just no fun to catch. Meanwhile, I'm geeking over, what is this, like a, probably a seven or six? Five, five four. Five, okay, <laughs> wow. And the aim is, towards the end of the week. Double digit, a big double digit. Yeah. Yeah. Mirror down. Love it. <laughs> All right, what next, more carp? Yeah. More on the fly? Wanna, wanna or more on the bread, do you think? Chuck a piece there of goes, bread out. We might be able to try and pick out a... Like a big one? Pick out a little bit bigger one. <laughs> cool. That's awesome. So, the sun is setting, which means it is time for us to switch on over to the other lake and target catfish. Catfish is really what we came out here for. The carp on the fly were just to warm things up. The catfish are going to be a little more difficult than the carp. The carp were fairly easy. I would say those were like... Pretty moderately easy fish to catch, being that I just jumped off a plane, I've never caught one of these things before, and did so on a fly. So if that tells you anything about the carp that are in that little pond over there, it's that, yeah, it doesn't take an expert to do it. But our next goal that is on our agenda is to catch one of these giant catfish. And they can get upwards to what, like 300 pounds, 200 pounds? They can get massive, can't they? Yeah, so these ones aren't like the giant, giant ones, but they're still like 
I mean, we're talking about 50 pound fish here. That's big and they're long too. So other than that, I'm pumped to get to this next spot. We're basically gonna set up camp and uh, wait for a Mondo cat. You guys ready? It's a big moment. We could knock off a bucket bliss fish for me. And I hope a lot of you guys out there don't know what kind of catfish we're about to target. It's not bullhead, not channels, not blue cats, not flatheads. I'm sure the majority of you guys who are watching right now have never seen one of these. Good product promotion for Sam. You yeah. a sponsor? Oh mate, I so wish we could get spam. <laughs> mate, when we when we go on the river, we use spam as well. The only reason we use spam is because it's really oily and yeah. really smelly, and in coloured like the water's really stirred up and muddy here. And that's clear. And you need something that's you mm. need something that's gonna you know they can find. Is this old? It. Yeah. it smells a bit like cat food right now. Yeah, it probably isn't. Might it not even be the same sort of thing as what you've got in America? I don't know. Once you cook it, it's a lot better. Yeah. I wouldn't eat, like, I don't think you, can you no, eat you, it? you can eat it straight it's out. It's raw, yeah. Yeah, I definitely would never do that. I wouldn't even eat it if I'd cooked it. As well as <laughs> I've eaten it cooked before. It's pretty, I don't love it, but it's good on eggs. Look. This stuff is thick. Like, what is this, the leader material? Yeah, this, this is, is Dacron? Similar, beefed up, really thick. Because the, the cat's pads are like, well, if we catch one, you can touch them. They're it's sharp, sharp, really sharp. Yeah. Like you rub your finger across it, it could, you know, it, it hurts. Yeah. Like a strong swivel to tie it to the and line. You get this crazy looking lead. So and that's when, that's key because when the fish takes it, it's like it pulls it no without tension. without feeling it. So there you have it, folks. That is the setup for today: spam, no eggs, hook, and wait. That's the key for success yeah. when you're out here fishing for catfish in the UK. We're pretty stoked. There's carp anglers all around us right now. Other than one other guy, we're the only ones out here fishing for a catfish, so this is kind of cool. Oh, like butter. Just like butter. Yeah, that looks good, man. It's funny because we're fishing for catfish and this legitimately smells like catfish food, or cat food. This smells exactly like my grandparents' cat food. It just makes sense. It's pretty coarse. What do you think? As long as, it, as, it's, long my, as it's my masterpiece. Yeah, as long as the hook can move freely and hook into the fish when it like swims off then it's all good and then um just put it on um put it on freeze pull on the back <laughs> that's awesome and then it should be able to pull easily on there you easily leave it i think it's sensitive so i'm not sure if you guys heard that beeping but uh that little thing is called a bite indicator is that what you yeah or a bite alarm bite alarm so from there that transmit a signal over to this little thing which vibrates and makes a noise so you can have this like in the tent while you're sleeping or chilling or eating a hamburger and your rod could be down there getting a bite it's like a crazy absolutely unreal concept it's almost Make like sure if you're, that you wake up yeah and the key is you have to wake up i'm a little bit jet lag so i'm really really going to need that right in my earlobe <laughs> tonight tonight's going to be an all-night kind of deal so we're we're really dedicating our entire night to catching these fish we've got all the rods spammed up and only thing left now is to get a bite. Wait for that thing to go off. Zzzz. I'm placing my bets on that way. Yeah, yeah, and whack it. Real, real, and then whack it. <laughs> no way, are you kidding me? That's rolling right now. Yeah, yeah. What's happened, John? I hooked the catfish. <gasps> that was so quick. It's not even dark yet. No way. I thought he was kidding. I thought you were joking. <laughs> I never, I, we did not even have a chance to get settled in yet. We haven't even eaten dinner. The catfish have had dinner before us. <laughs> exactly. Oh, I see him. Oh, oh I see his tail come out. Good one. Yeah. Oh my god, this is like an absolute beast. <laughs> the rods haven't been in for like more than an hour. No, yeah. Come on. Oh, he's going in. Yeah, he's going in. He's in? Yes. Well. <laughs> He's in. 
High five. Dude's head is incredible. God. Yeah, you're gonna need two people. That's, that's a two person to, oh, yeah, like, to yeah. hold, if you know what I mean. Okay, like, yeah, absolutely. This thing is huge. Yeah. <laughs> I'm blown away. Just hold her up. Try. <laughs> Look at this thing. This right here, guys, is a Wells catfish. This has been a dream catch of mine since I was probably 12 years old. And I'm holding one in my hands right now. This one's probably what, like 40 plus. I mean, it's, yeah. just a, it's all meat. It's a giant fish. Half its body's hanging over my arm. Like, what the heck? You have to realize this is like. This isn't common. I'm surprised. I'm just, I'm, I'm speechless. I'm shocked and surprised. I'm just so fortunate to hook in one of these things. Yeah. Uh, we'll give him another crazy. go. It's crazy how dark it is. About this How's that, Alex? Tell me, Hi, direct me. Tail up or anything? Tail up a little bit. <laughs> okay, now how do you release one? Um, we pop it back into the net. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought, then walk them in. You can go on your knees, and then like let it slip from your hands into the water. I feel you. I'm like shaking right now. I was in the US just a few hours ago, and now we're fishing after giant Wells catfish with spam. I'm gonna put this big puppy back. Just a beautiful fish. Here we go, come back here. Come back here. Oh, she's gone. <laughs> she's gone. That that right there was the hardest fish to hold on earth. Yeah. Like that thing was slippery, eel-like, and just made a pure power. Wow, all right. Another one? <laughs> Sun hasn't even set yet. <laughs> like what's going on? What's the bite gonna be like here a little bit? Oh mate, if we get another one, then that's just that's a serious result. Like, boom, boom, boom. What up, man? Boom. That's awesome. Thank you guys. It's been about 30 minutes since I last turned on the camera for another update. Which means like five minutes after I went in my tent to basically just chill, that rod right there started going off. A surprise to all of us. We didn't expect that to happen. Even the slightest. These fish are nocturnal. They like to feed at night. It's not, I mean obviously you can tell, it's not quite night yet. So for that to happen was, uh, was pretty unique. I'm just shocked that you know, I was able to cross off two bucketless fish within a matter of less than 24 hours. I keep saying that I know, but to me it's so crazy <laughs> before <coughs> the smoke is killing my monologue. Anyway, you guys get the gist. It, it was it was a special moment. That was that was dope. Wells catfish are just they're I don't know, there's nothing to explain something like that. And just to think that those fish can get, if not two times, four times, or five times bigger than that one. Like what the hell? Are you kidding me? Of course we're gonna stand here longer like i said we're gonna stay the night out here and uh, hope for maybe another anything after this is surely and purely bonus right now we're cooking a barbecue up so it's food time then fish time I'd tighten it up and reel down just because it's, it's falling completely slack. Reel down as fear filled if there is anything there. Probably not. Do you see how it hadn't pulled and then just let it fall slack? Yeah, if the bait's still on, whack it back out. Sweet. Yeah, perfect. It is 1.10 a.m. right now. I just woke to the noise of this thing screaming bloody murder in my ear. <laughs> I don't know if I was dreaming or not. I think it might have been a dream, I don't know. But I could have sworn I heard this thing jolted out of bed, almost slipped and fell on the wet grass. Look around and there's no rod lit up. So I don't know if I'm going insane right now. I don't know if I have the Wells Catfish Blues, but I could have sworn that, would, that was like our third big bite of the day. Whoa. This is, this kind of fishing is like no joke. It's like peaceful and relaxing at first, and then at any moment, anything could unravel and all hell could break loose. So at this point I can't even fall asleep. I am on edge, incredibly. I was tired from this whole jet lag and I'm awake. I just want to catch another catfish so badly. 
so badly. <laughs> oh my god. Lost it. <sighs> what happened? I think he broke me off. Literally broke your line? Yeah. He popped off. No. You hooked into the pads. Oh, you got me in the pads. This is the one that was around on the edge of the pads. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Like, directly. Oof. Sorry. That's alright. <laughs> did the bait come off? Yes, yeah, <laughs> yeah, a little underarm flick would be best. Did you? Bad, did you hear that fish? What was that? Is that a carp? I don't know. It's huge. Sometimes when the catfish are feeding hard, they'll slap like that. But I don't know. It's hard to tell. I'm gonna get a quick up. Is it filming right now? The current time is 11.30. It's been 20 minutes, about 23 minutes since the last bite. The dream bite, which I still think was an actual bite, but uh, the rod that we caught the first wells on just went off and it screamed repeatedly. I was like running around the island looking in the brush trying to figure out which rod it was and it was this one all the way in the end. I said hook and there's nothing there. So it's like, these fish are good ghosts. Regardless, I still think we're gonna get at least one more bite. I don't know about one more fish, but. It's been a bit of a struggle out here. It's fun though. It's it's like one of those types of fishing that you would think would be kind of eh, but is actually pretty insane. It keeps you on your toes. Fish literally will wake you up in the dead of night. Good morning, folks. It is 8.12 a.m. Last I spoke to you guys, I think it, I said it was around 1.30, but it was actually 2.30. I got my times all mixed up. That was the official time of the last bite. The last night was quite hectic. I woke up probably four times, one of which I stayed up from 2.30 to 4, 4 a.m. Excuse me. And then from there, I woke up again at 6, and then now I've woken up at eight not much sleep last night but it was all worth the fact that you know we could have got another catfish unfortunately we didn't they tend to get pretty wily which i experienced firsthand it really felt good early on the day to catch that fish i'm so glad that we capitalized on that last bite otherwise it probably would have been one of those days where we would have just had a lot of swing and misses the rod on that point had been stripped completely the rod on that side of the point had a bite and then there was a rod down there that kept getting pecked at, which was the original rod in which I caught the fish on. This year has been just an insane year for checking off bucketless fish. It's, it's incredible to me as to how much I feel like I'm getting done. And here I am now in London catching these fish. So um, there are a few more bucketless fish we could go after this trip and that's exactly what Carl and Alex and I are gonna do. So from here, we're literally gonna pack up, get back in the car, and then go on to our next fishing opportunity and journey. There's pretty much no breaks during this trip. And if they are breaks, it's gonna be while we're fishing. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is just a sliver of what you guys are gonna see as far as UK videos. Again, be sure to check out um, Carl and Alex's channel. I'll leave a link in the description below. I'm rambling at this point, so I'm gonna help these guys pack up basically what is left. And then we are gonna get out of here move on to bigger and better things thank you guys for watching i hope you're enjoying the uk vlogs and as always keep fishing never stop The things he does to get his B-roll. <laughs> Got it. I think I ruined my rig shirt, but we're good. Subtle plug just there. <laughs> <laughs>